Welcome to Femfi TV, Paris Maritime's YouTube channel, where existing and future maritime professionals come to get informed and inspired. Please hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss out on our latest contents. Cybersecurity is the practice of protecting our digital assets from digital threats called cyber attacks. In this information age, cybersecurity is a necessity. Cybersecurity is not something reserved to technical people. Not anymore. We're all connected, which makes us all vulnerable to cyber attacks. These cyber attacks basically does three things access our private and sensitive data steal that data, then monetize it either by holding it for ransom or selling it. Independent IT Security Institute AV test registers over 350,000 new malicious programs and potentially unwanted applications. These are examined and classified according to their characteristics and targets. Another unfortunate finding is from cyber defense company SonicWall where is one of their reports identified more than 400,000 never-seen-before malware variants in 2019 alone. With these happenings, the internet has become crazy cloudly recently. And if you're used to internet daily, learning about cybersecurity is imperative. As technology users, we should do two things. First is to be skilled in protecting our assets by learning the fundamentals of cybersecurity. And second is to use that knowledge and skills to make better choices when using technology. Us users play a key role in the mitigation and prevention of cyber attacks. It is our actions that fuels the malware industry in the first place, and certainly it will also be our actions that will cripple it. The malware industry supplies all the component cyber criminals need to perpetrate online financial fraud and data theft. In today's virtual world, the scope of organizations vulnerable to malware-driven crime is quite broad. In addition to banks and credit unions that are subject to online banking fraud, financial fraud can also be perpetrated on insurance companies, payment services, large e-commerce companies, airlines, maritime, and many others. Here are some insane malware statistics and trends so far. According to IT Governance UK, data breaches are on the rise. Last year, we saw the release of nearly 2 billion hacked records. Collection 1 is a compilation of 1 billion email addresses and passwords. Collection 2 is data from 202 million Chinese citizens. And Collection 3 is a database of FBI investigations. According to Cisco's 2018 cybersecurity report, Microsoft Office is a primary attack point. Be cautious of your own productivity software. While that .exe files used to be the weapon of choice for cyber criminals, it has already become too mainstream and people already knew that they shouldn't click them. But they don't tend to suspect ordinary looking that .doc files, and cyber criminals have been using this to their advantage. As much as 38% of malware is now being disguised as Word or PDF documents. Ransomware, despite of the widespread use of free decryption keys, isn't going anywhere. Reports of ransomware becoming less common is false news. Last year, individuals and organizations paid a whopping $11.5 billion to ransomware using criminals. Local governments were the most common targets. Malware is taking an increasingly large toll. In 2015, the global cost of malware was an already staggering $500 billion. Fast forward to today, it's now $2 trillion, a four-fold increase according to Accenture Security. Cryptojacking is trending. 
In order to generate huge amounts of cryptocurrency such as a Bitcoin, cryptocurrency miners need to harness significant amounts of CPU power, thousands to be exact. It's going to be very expensive to buy that many PCs, but it could be free if a hacker could steal that many computing power instead. Cryptojacking malware steals your CPU cycles to mine cryptocurrency, and it's the fastest growing malware out there with 8 million attempts per month in 2018, according to the Internal Security Threat Report of Symantec. Cybercriminals are after our smartphones. Mobile malware target older, unpatched, or unupdated versions of Android and Apple apps. According to Cisco's 2018 Cybersecurity Report, about 24,000 malicious apps are blocked every day, and many actually get through. Most malware comes via phishing email. Even if you think you're savvy to this kind of threat, phishing attacks are becoming increasingly more invasive and more sophisticated every day. According to Lance Research, 9 out of 10 cyber attacks starts with a simple phishing email and trick users into handing over important information. Phishing email sits at the top of our list of most used cyber attacks. Small businesses are the most susceptible to cyber attacks. According to IBM, if your company has less than 1,000 employees, you are part of a group cyber criminals target the most. Over 60% of attacks are directed towards this business category, which overwhelmingly lacks the budget, manpower, and technical know-how to defend against serious cyber threats. While having an antivirus software is an important first step, they can always protect you from cyber attacks. Awareness is still the best defense. Cybersecurity is not just technology and protocols, it's a lifestyle. Stay informed and regularly update your apps, operating systems, and of course, your knowledge. So that's it for this lecture video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more contents like this. We are Far East Maritime Training Center, your one-stop shop for all your maritime training needs. Some of our courses are available online. For the complete list, please visit our Facebook page. PM is always the key. We hope to see you on our next lecture video. Thank you for watching. God bless and more power to the maritime industry.